Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tech Out Diaries. I'm so happy that you guys are joining me here today because I'm going to be showing you how I use Miro. So for those of you who don't know what Miro is, it was basically made originally for user experience designers to plan out how an app or a website or like some sort of digital application is going to be like and just to collaborate with one another. But I discovered this tool can be used for so much more things than just user experience designers. If you're a student, if you're working with others and collaborating, if you're working on a business project, Miro is a fantastic tool for so many reasons, and I'm going to be showing you why. So this is basically the inside of a Miro board. I just added some text already and some sticky notes. And basically some of the key features that I like about Miro is how visual it is. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, move around freely. And then when there's other people collaborating with you, their mouses with their names would also show up on here. So it's just really cool to see everybody on the board working together. And then there's also tons of templates that Miro already included for you. So this is just all their templates that they have and you can even search things off. So say chart, and then you can see flow chart, company organization chart, project chart, Gantt chart, burn down chart, anything that you want, they have it. So really easy. You don't need to create it yourself. Just use what they have, saves you time and effort. So that's really cool. And they also have tons of features that you can add text, tons of sticky notes in different colors. You can add shapes, um, arrows and lines to connect relationships together. You can draw on the board, comments, adding frames like phone, tablet, browser. If you're trying to create like a prototype of a, an app or a website, you can add screenshots and files. You can add um, web page captures, tables and charts, mind maps, grids, emojis, really anything that you want to put on this board, it's all up to you. Like it's basically anything that you make it to be. And it's also a fantastic tool for presentations. So if you ever use something like Prezi, it's sort of similar. So you can create frames and it will freeze certain parts of this board so you can go to each next one during the presentation. So when you click on presentation mode, it'll move on to the next frame and the next frame for you which is really convenient way for you to present. You don't need to move everything to like a Google Slides page where it's static. You can really like zoom in and out and be very interactive while presenting. And then you can also chat. So you can say, um, I just finished this part um, to like your roommates and then they will be able to see it and you can chat while using this app, which I think is super convenient. And then you can add the cards and this is where you can screen share. So you can start screen sharing with other people who are working on it at the same time. This voting function is pretty cool. So um, basically you can vote for certain things. So if you say create voting session, pretend that these stickies are ideas. So start now, vote now. So say we're voting for top three ideas, you would just go vote one, two, three, and then everyone can see who voted for most. So say um, this idea won, then it's like super simple. You can have a timer and everybody will see which idea is the most popular. Another way that I really like to do voting when I'm working with groups is using emojis. Everybody picks one emoji and then put put it beside the top three ideas. And at the end, you see which one has the most votes. So that's another really cool way to do voting. And then you can even video chat. So if you do video chat, you can collaborate while working on this board. Right now, my video isn't showing because I'm using OBS, but if there's sort of a normal video chat, you would be able to see your faces and then everybody can work together on the same mirror board. And then this is the timer. So if you want to have like a speed brainstorming session or a speed voting session, you can start this timer and then um, everybody will be able to see it. And this is the activity log. So you can see who added and deleted what. So super organized tool. One way that I use Mirror a lot is for brainstorming and just coming up with ideas in a group. So say I want to create user personas for different things, then um, I would do something like this, which Mirror already has a template for it. I would add like sticky notes, add pictures and just different things that I want to visualize and think about. And it's a really visual way to see what we come up with as a group, for example. And then if you're trying to do like business research and things like that, you can add things like business model canvas, put different uh, sticky notes onto each section and everybody collaborate together. So that's one way that I really like to use Miro, just brainstorming and thinking of different ideas. They have things like mind maps, for example, and say like you want to use um, a template, it literally just pops right in, you can edit it and it's all already there. 
Another thing that I think is really cool about Miro is that you could also even plan out your meetings. So if you want to use something like meeting reflection, it already tells you、um, some of the things to reflect on. And I think it's just a really cool tool that Miro makes you think about, like some of these charts and icebreakers, for example. You wouldn't even have thought of if it was on the Miro templates. So I think it's just a really cool tool just to be able to work together as a team. I found that with、um, Team C's Miro, we tend to get along really. Well, and we find it super fun. We get to know each other better, and it's just a cool way to be more collaborative. Even for very complicated and advanced projects, you can totally use Miro. I've used it from school projects to projects with clients, and for my personal work, like you can really use this tool in any way that you want. So, for example, something like a big project where you have tons of weeks, tons of people working on it, you can zoom out and build it as big as and small as you want. So, for example, if you want to conduct research. On a certain topic, you can use like these frames to separate different weeks, separate different topics, the parts and people that are working on it. So, for example, let's zoom into one,、um, and then for example. This one is some research, so you can add like screenshots. You can add links. You can basically edit it however you want and separate different things and、uh, even embed videos. So I think it's pretty cool how you are able to like do stuff like this on Mirrorboard because no other platform you can really keep things so organized and still contain so much information, like just so much things on one board, and it keeps everything organized. I think that's something that is. No other platform can really beat Miro at this point, as far as I know. And you could collaborate with others at the same time. Like that's really cool for me, at least. And something also really cool is the being able to have it so visual and organized. You can really use it in any way that you like. You can add flow charts. You can add like user journeys and add emojis to it. You can have like wireframes, like low fidelity, high fidelity, and for team retrospectives, you can basically put like sticky notes on with everybody, like a team activity. What was good? What did the team learn?、Um, what did the team lack? Long for, etc. So it's like a team building activity almost, where everyone can see what everyone is doing, and it feels like a lot more fun and visual than、um, just collaborating on a PowerPoint and things like that. It's like a all-in-one tool, and it keeps every Everything very organized and fun to work with, so that's one of the reasons why I really like it. And th- it's basically a lot easier than using some other tools. We had to format it a lot. The thing with Miro Board is that you can never really run out of space, so you just drag and drop things. It saves you a lot of time. You don't have to worry about spacing. You don't have to worry about formatting a lot. It's basically like a board, so you can put anything on there any way that you want to format it. It's completely fine. Another thing that I really like about Miro is the amount of apps that connect. To it, so if you look at their marketplace, which is basically like their app store, it connects to things like Adobe. It connects to Microsoft Teams, Google Drive, Hopin, Jira Card, Slack, Airtable, Notion, GitHub, Box, Dropbox, anything that you can really think of that is good for your workflow. They have thought of it already. So. I'm serious. Like, if you're not using Miro, like, come on! It really thought of everything for you. Anything that you probably already use now, it can connect to it. So please take advantage of it because it's going to save you so much time when you can just use a lot of these tools in one place, and you don't have to go back and forth trying to use different application presentations, collaborating, researching, communicating with other people, video chatting. You know, like. Just keep it simple. Also, if you're a big fan of Jira and the company who made it, they actually are on Miro and they made a bunch of these things that are for Scrum fans and everything. So they have team retrospective templates. They have three five whys analysis, team mind mapping, empathy mapping, journey mapping. So it's really a great tool for people who are familiar with tech, but also for people who just wanted to organize their lives because some of these charts anyone can use, right? So I don't think. That this is just made for user experience designers. I think that I've used this for so many different things, not UX design at all. So, really check this out because I think that this is the next big collaboration tool. You know,、um, presentation templates.
updates. Um, basically any charts, this is a UML diagram. You could put your wireframes in these things and sitemaps. You could even like add custom frames for tablets and browsers. They have the sizes ready, the frames ready. So what an easy tool, right? Like they have everything here for you. If you want any feature, it's pretty much already, they already thought of it. I think user experience designers probably definitely designed this thing too. So the, the user experience for this app is fantastic as well. So you can share with anyone and anyone can edit. It's basically like Google Docs. So that's super cool because I know a lot of um, wireframe tools like Figma, if you aren't their free plan, it wouldn't let you share with too many people. For mirror boards, you can have three boards that you can edit with anyone and share with anyone at the same time. But um, once you add more, basically they just lock one of your older ones so it's never really been a problem for me because I never really have more than three projects running at the same time that I need to edit. So that's not really a huge problem for me. I believe they probably also have a paid plan if you really do use it a lot, a lot. So yeah, check it out. I hope you guys like it. I really enjoy it. Let me know what kind of projects you will be using it for if you are deciding to use it. And I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.